You don't build rail transit to move people. It's about economic development and the means is moving people. Uh, you have five fabulous urban centers in our greater downtown. You need 15. Infill is critical. Transit development is critical. The way we use urban spaces is changing. Um, and a lot of the real estate that was valuable to us uh, in the past isn't of utility to us anymore. It lends itself to redevelopment. Um, Streetcars, different than light rail, don't create around nodes. They create a two-block strip on either side of the line uh, very, very consistently. Um, and we've been subsidizing the suburbs for generations. Um, and we, you can see the development patterns of that's entailed. And with the new sensitivity to sustainable development, green development, uh, maximizing infrastructure. I always like to tell people uh, downtown is less than 1% of the land mass of the city of Kansas City and it produces over 25% of the tax base. It exports dense urban, uh, and I even run that, that I don't know the stats, but that analogy down in the plaza. A few dense urban areas are exporters of capital to neighborhoods to help support that economic engine. That's the city of Kansas City. Um, the, where we are in the process, and the kind of last key point is, uh, the federal government is in no way going to play a major role as it has in the past, probably for the next generation, in funding these major projects. Um, uh, and we are going to have to develop and understand private-public partnerships to keep moving cities forward. Uh, those downtowns and those cities who figure out how to effectively do public-private partnerships for these major infrastructures and enhancements will continue to grow. They'll become more vibrant, more exciting, more diverse, more economically sustainable. Uh, those that don't uh, will fall into malaise for the next 20 years. It's, it's really kind of that clean and simple. Um, the challenge for us in the business community is part of that public-private partnership is looking at a new way to finance this. Uh, and a meaningful portion of this will be financed by the downtown business community. There are a limited number of property owners in a very limited space. Uh, there's a lot of philosophical arguments that we've had from the beginning and good dialogue. Uh, this is a citywide asset. Um, and should we be pursuing a citywide funding structure for it? Uh, we do the plaza to the river for, I think, for us to be 0.25, quarter of a cent sales tax citywide. Um, but, but that's not the strategy we're under today through know, a transportation development district. Um, and so a lot of concern in the business community. We have uh, large property owners and small who are incredibly supportive of this project and say, you know, we just have to roll our sleeves and get this done. It's the right time. This could spark new developments, could spark, you know, if we do phase two down to the Volker campus, you've really got something going regardless of the regional dialogue. Um, and there's others who are concerned that the load is just too great. How will the sales tax impact retail sales? How will the additional property tax will impact my ability to lease my space and get the rents I need to stay uh, to survive? Um, we're a very fragile economy downtown. We can break, you know, come a long distance, but um, we're still a very fragile downtown, so I'd be very careful about these decisions. So a lot of very dynamic dialogue um, within our organization. Uh, with that said, uh, we're all still at the table. Um, so why are we doing this? You saw the video, but I think it's important to kind of emphasize some of these statistics. It's, not, it's based on economic development, and it's really about the millennials. People 16 to 34 are stopping, are, are not, are either, they either don't have a car, if they need a car, they go rent one. They don't want to own a car. It costs a lot of money to own a car, to maintain a fleet of cars. You have to have a big garage to store them in. You've got to have all that land out in the suburbs. You've got to buy gas. You've got to buy insurance, etc. And young people are saying, I don't want to do that. I'd rather spend my car money on maybe living downtown. It might cost me a little bit more, but that's what I'd rather be doing. They want to, they're voting with their feet. They want to live in hip, high-density, walkable cities. So why do these people matter? Well, because young people tend to start businesses. Microsoft was started by Bill Gates when he was 19, Facebook by Zuckerberg when he was 19, Apple by Jobs when he was 21, Google by Page when he was 25, and then they had an old guy, Sam Walton, 32, started uh, Walmart. And you're saying, well, why does that matter in Kansas City? Hallmark. Uh, J.C. Hall was age 19, Burns and Mac 26 and 19, HNTB, you guys are too old. Cerner, <laughs> um, Neil Patterson was 29, and then Kaufman was 33, Jim Stowers was 33, and the one that got away, Walt Disney, was uh, 22. And by the way, back on this previous slide, Microsoft was founded in Albuquerque. 
And the Microsoft went to the city of Albuquerque and their EDC and said, we need a loan. And they turned them down. So Microsoft had to go back to Seattle because that's where Bill Gates borrowed the money from his dad. But his dad said, you got to move back home if I'm going to loan you the money. And that's the one that got away for Albuquerque. So where are we at moving forward? We're conducting the second election. Uh, every government in Missouri is authorized to exist and able to impose revenues up to a certain maximum level. And uh, even the city has that, the county has that, every government entity has that, school district has that maximum. You can't go above this. We established that. We, we, we set forth the maximum levels of revenue that he, he could uh, incur. But then in Missouri, because of the Hancock Amendment, you actually have to go back and authorize those revenues again. You have the maximum, but then you actually need the authorization to levy them. So we have to conduct a second election, essentially with the exact same ballot language, saying, okay, you've agreed to form the government, now are you going to agree to allow that government to impose its revenue streams? So that's underway. The ballots are, we're in the middle of the ballot request period up to October 2nd. If you live within that district, you must be registered to vote, but then you can request a ballot, and it will be then mailed to you on October 30th and you must get it notarized and sent back in by December the 11th. Uh, in January 13, we're anticipating a bond sale. Um, this slide's a little bit out of date. We did get uh, part of that conversation with the Beth Osborne with the DOT. We got some favorable feedback on using some federal financing. So we may change that schedule a little bit in the next couple months as we get that information back in. But absent the federal, federal financing, we anticipate selling bonds probably in January, February 2013. And we'll be, at that time, looking to procure the vehicles and the custom track work. Those are long lead items. It takes 18 to 24 months to buy that stuff. So if you think 18 to 24 months, that gets you into 2015, which is our stated goal of operation. So next summer, what we'll be doing is utility relocations. We're looking at the water line issue, which is an important one. Um, we're also looking at there's lots of stuff under the streets. You wouldn't believe how much stuff is under the streets in Kansas City, downtown. Um, Steam lines, gas lines, tons of fiber optics, uh, sewer lines. So we, you need to get that stuff out of the way because you don't want to have to shut down and dig up the streetcar every time something, uh, something needs to be moved or breaks underneath it. 2014 is when we'll be doing the track and station construction. Um, and then in spring 2015, we start our testing and go into the open day. Um, unfortunately, we will not make the Big 12 tournament it just is not realistic given our budgetary constraints. Unless somebody wants to throw another 20 million at the project, we probably can't make that big. We, we, we looked hard at it, but it just probably wasn't going to 